The situation of the armed forces of Ukraine on the battlefield has deteriorated so much that Ukrainian propaganda is no longer able to hide the truth. Moreover, even representatives of the Ukrainian High Military Command began to recognize the plight of the Ukrainian army on the battlefield. So, official representatives of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, while talking with Ukrainian journalists, admitted that by the end of this summer, Ukraine would face major territorial losses. Commenting on this situation, many Western experts also stated that military assistance from the United States and total mobilization would not save the Ukrainian army from total defeat on the battlefield. According to them, Ukrainian citizens need to mentally prepare for the loss of a large number of not only villages, but also major cities. During a recent interview with British journalists from the Times newspaper, the commander of the Ukrainian ground forces, Lt. Gen. Alexander Pavlyuk, admitted that the Ukrainian army would lose the largest number of settlements precisely in Pokrovsk direction very soon. According to him, this is due to the fact that the complete liberation of the Donetsk People's Republic is the main task for the Russian High Military Command. And judging by the way events are developing west of Avdiivka, it becomes clear that the Ukrainian general is most likely right to say such things. So, as of May 23, 2024, the situation of the Ukrainian army has rapidly deteriorated in the northwestern and southwestern directions of the Avdiivka front. According to war correspondents, on May 22, at 2 p.m. Moscow time, motorized rifle units of the Russian army, accompanied by armored vehicles, managed to break into the eastern part of the strategically important settlement of Novoalexandrovka. War correspondents confirm that Russian troops have managed to advance two kilometers deep into enemy territory and gain a foothold in new positions. Influential Russian telegram channels also recognized the breakthrough of the Russian army in Novoalexandrovka. According to them, Russian paratroopers attacked Novoalexandrovka from nearby hills that rise above the village at an altitude of 50-60 meters. Commenting on the situation around Novoalexandrovka, American and European analytical centers recognized that the fate of this village is predetermined and that this settlement will come under the full control of the Russian army in the coming days. It is noteworthy that Russian troops have also achieved significant successes near the village of Sokol. It is reported that the offensive units of the Russian army managed to advance 500 meters deep into enemy territory in this sector of the front. By the way, after the recent liberation of the village of Netolovo, Russian troops increased their pressure on the positions of the 59th Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. At the moment, this brigade of the armed forces of Ukraine, with heavy losses, is rapidly retreating toward the village of Karlovka. As for the village of Novoalexandrovka, the capture of this settlement will allow the Russian army to advance significantly toward the village of Zarya. All this will put the grouping of the armed forces of Ukraine located in the city of Toritsk in mortal danger. By the way, the capture of Novoalexandrovka will also force units of the armed forces of Ukraine to surrender New York and retreat to Toritsk so as not to fall into the semicircle. Ukrainian war correspondent Konstantin Mashevets admitted that the situation in this direction of the front is developing very ideally for Russian troops. According to him, the battle for the city of Pokrovsk will begin very soon. And that the capture of this particular settlement will mark the liberation of the entire Donetsk People's Republic.
Meanwhile, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation officially confirmed that the Russian army had liberated not only the settlement of Kleshchivka, but also Andrivka. Thus, it can be stated that the Russian army has completely nullified all the achievements of the armed forces of Ukraine, which were reached at the cost of hundreds of thousands of lives of Ukrainian soldiers during the summer counteroffensive. Let me remind you that villages such as Robotino, Kleshchivka, and Andrivka were captured by the Ukrainian army during its last year's counteroffensive, which lasted six months. And now, in May 2024, the Ukrainian armed forces lost all these villages, for which more than half a million Ukrainian soldiers gave their lives. Meanwhile, the official representative of the State Border Service of Ukraine, Andrei Demchenko, said that groups of Russian Spetsnaz had significantly increased their activity in the Sumy region. According to him, over the past few days, several attacks by Russian Spetsnaz on the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Sumy region have been recorded. The Ukrainian officer is confident that fighters of the Russian Spetsnaz are checking the combat capability of the units of the armed forces of Ukraine, studying the defense lines of the Ukrainian army and the exact location of the Ukrainian artillery systems. Andrei Demchenko is sure that everything that is happening indicates that the Russian army can launch an offensive in the Sumy region at any moment. At the same time, he admits that if the Russian army attacks the Sumy region, the units of the Ukrainian Border Guard Service will not be able to stop the enemy, since Russian troops significantly outnumber Ukrainian forces in firepower and heavy equipment in this direction of the front. Representatives of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine also recognized the dangerous situation in the Sumy region. According to them, the Russian army's offensive on the Sumy region should happen any day now. In Kiev, they are confident that the attack of the Russian army on the Sumy region will allow the Russian High Military Command to stretch the front line as much as possible, as a result of which, against the background of an acute shortage of manpower, the Ukrainian army will find itself in a real trap. 